guys, welcome to Final Court Bits, I'm Colin. In this short tutorial, I want to show you how to make sure you've got the right skin tone. Okay, uh, this is one method, there is many methods. I'm by no means an expert with it, but I'll show you this really simple way to do it as one method, right? So, you know, I've got my face here, and I want to uh, decide and find out if the skin tone is, is right. So what we need to do first, go to this panel and then we go to refined mask, draw mask, okay, so search mask in the search bar, drag this mask onto the clip, okay, so now you select it and then you're given this pen to select. So what you want to do is select the face basically, this all the skin. I select the colours. Alright, so I've done that there, and this is just showing the skin, the face. Right, so now what we need to do is open the colour panel. Alright, the vector scope we're looking for, and you can go to window. And this is the most difficult way of doing it. Uh, workspaces, you can go color and effects. Okay, but what I do, I just press Command 7. And that brings up the color panel, the color features. And what you can do is change to which you want. There's waveform, histogram. And we're looking for the vector scope here. Okay, it's already set to vector scope. You can change it to different views, you can get two, or one, or several, but for this tutorial I'm going to go to one. Alright, this line here is a skin tone line. We need to make sure our colours, these colour selected, lines up with this. Okay, and you can see currently the line is away from it. So how do we alter colours to get the colours on the line? We go to the the color section, we've got the color wheels, and then we find the master in this part, okay? And then we just select this in the middle of master, and we can move this. You can see the, the line is moving. So basically, all you've got to do is line up, decide which is the skin you can see. I think something like that's about right. Alright, so it's kind of a a thick kind of, uh, I can't see clear because it's kind of small on my screen. But just line this up, right? You line it up the best you can do. Alright, so then once you're happy with this, this is just one step of the colour grading process, a colour processing colour correction process okay so I'm not going to go into it in more detail but this is just highlighting this skin to get the skin right so then we need to go to the transform we don't need the mask now we can just take this off select it and press delete and now you can be fairly confident that the skin tone yes. is completely right you know it's on point if it matches that skin tone line. So that's what you do, you isolate it with the mask, um, match the colour to the line, and that is um, one way of getting the skin tone right. I hope that helps you and you know, good luck with your editing. And if you do find this useful, please consider subscribing and hit that bell and hit the like. Okay, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.